Yahweh, praise Yude Wave. In the name of the Son, Yude Wave, Bet Nun Sophie, Yude Wave. Selah. Welcome to Black Gods of Yahweh Media. We're going to pick up where we left off. But before I start reading part three, I want to share something with you. When you look at thus causing one to lose interest through the exciting distaste being broadcasted in newspapers, periodicals, radio, television, wire service, reporters, columnists, and web press. These are all forms of the media which are twofold. It is also our responsibility to use these outlets to spread truth against falsehood. So this situation also plays in both parties' hands. That's the thing about the modern era with the internet. It's both good and bad, depending on the point of views. You can get out positive and negative energy. So that's just what I wanted to share with that. Now we're going to go back down to the bottom of page 10. So to understand what we're talking about, in the abomination of desolation, we're talking about the abomination of someone appointing themselves artificially in the seat of our Lord, Yudei Wave Yahweh, the mighty God. We are gods. Psalms 82 and 6. Yahweh ben Yahweh is the mighty God. And above him is the Father, Yudei Wave Yahweh, supreme. So now going to page 11, posture, which came from the word position, that was derived from the transliteration of the word stand. In the J.I. Rodell Synonym Finder at 1978, on page 68, is synonymous to false. See that? Impression, which also came from the word posture. On page 662 of the Random House Webster's College Dictionary. At 1999 means an image in the mind caused by something external to it. Therefore, a false image of Yude Wave Bet Num Sophie Yude Wave Yahweh Ben Yahweh has been placed in the minds of those who see the abomination of desolation stand in the holy place. Since this act is being publicized by all media agencies, then we can assert that this false image has placed himself in the rightful seat of Yude Wave Bet Num Sophie Yude Wave Yahweh Ben Yahweh has also created a false image of Christ in the minds of all the people of the world. With these facts, we can read the scripture in Matthew 24 and 15 with a better understanding. Hence, it should read as, At this time, that you see with your eyes the corruption and the moral impurity of the one who have placed himself in the rightful seat of Yude Wave Beit Nun Sofit, Yude Wave Yahweh Ben Yahweh, and whose intentions, designs, and purpose are abundantly supplied with vulgar and obscene thoughts. Impurity. That has created a false image of Christ. Yude Wave Bet Nun Sophie Yude Wave Yahweh Ben Yahweh. In the minds of the people of the world. That will fill many with sudden and overpowering wonder and cause an effect aversion. Thus causing one to lose interest through the exciting distaste being broadcast and occupied a commanding position on all media agencies in the newspapers, periodicals, radio, television, wire services, reporters, columnists, and web press. You must grasp the significance and importance of this moment intellectually and spiritually. See, when people start to see with their own eyes it being broadcast a false image of our Lord, Yude Wave Yahweh, 
Yude Wave Bet Noon Sophie Yude Wave. Then what it does in the minds of the people, it shows a negative image and it pushes them away. The Abomination of Desolation, continuation, page 12. Spiritual significance of this moment is that it is a sign of the Great Tribulation and the coming of the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh. For at the end of the Tribulation, the Messiah, Yude Wave Bet Nun Sophie Yude Wave, the same, Yahweh ben Yahweh, will appear, but before the Son of Man cometh, the Son of Perdition must be revealed. Let us turn to Thessalonians 2, 3 through 4. Let us read, please. Let no man deceive you, you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God Yahweh, or that is worship, so that he, as God Yude Wave Yahweh, sitteth in the temple of our Lord, our God, the Almighty Yahweh, showing himself that he is Yahweh. Based on the facts gathered, we can deduce that the act of the one who will place himself in the rightful seat of Yude Wave Bet Num Sophie Yude Wave Yahweh Ben Yahweh, showing himself that he is God Yahweh, and creating a false image of the Son Yude Wave Bet Num Sophie Yude Wave, in the minds of the masses, thus deceived by any means which will cause one to lose interest, falling away first. That's another thing. It also causes people inside that knowledge of Yahweh to fall away and ask the question, what is the purpose of all this if the person is sitting before me is false? Why is they there? And ask the question, is this really real or is it worth it? And why am I doing this? Is the son of perdition who is now being revealed by Yahweh through all the media agency around the world. Therefore, we will begin revealing this devil with the son of perdition. The word perdition, taken from 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, is translated in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible in Greek lexicon under lexical number 684 as opilia, which means damnable. The Thayer's Greek English lexicon of the New Testament at 1977 on page 71 under the same lexical number 684. Perdition is translated as a man doomed to eternal misery of Antichrist. The two key points that will begin with our damnable and of Antichrist. We will first define of Antichrist and then damnable. In the Random House Webster's College Dictionary at 1999 on page 916 of is defined as used to indicate identity. Identity on page 654 is the state or fact of being the same one as described. Exact likeness in nature or qualities as exertion that two terms refer to the same thing. With this facts, Salakia, with these facts, we can assert that perdition transliterated as a man doomed to eternal misery is actually indicating the identity of the same one as described the Antichrist. The two terms perdition and Antichrist refers to the same thing, thus having exact likeness in nature. Webster's New International Dictionary at 1953, second edition, on page 1631, nature means 
as fundamental character, disposition, or temperament, often regarded as innate or unchangeable. In the J.I. Rodell Synonym Finder, at 1978, on page 68, some synonyms to nature are character, essence, essential quality, spirit, inclination, hereditarily. Therefore, the son of perdition and the Antichrist, which is one and the same, will have a character and disposition that is innate and unchangeable. Means, no matter what you say to them, no matter what they do, it doesn't matter. They're not going to change. Their spirit is what it is, wicked, dark, condemned, and unchangeable. The nature, according to the translation of the word perdition, is damnable. That means they're already finished. Damn, the root word of damnable. In the Webster's New International Dictionary at 1953, second edition on page 665, is defined as to condemn as invalid, illegal, immoral, or wicked. Hence, the essence, essential qualities, and spirit of the son of perdition the Antichrist, are wicked. At this time, we're going to discontinue part three, and I will continue the reading tomorrow or the next day after. I want to say peace and shalom. Your opinion is always welcome. However, I ask that your opinion is on the topic, not outside of the topic. Thank you.